Hey Pisces, how you doing? This is Serendipity Tarot coming to you this week for a general love reading. We're going to find out how does your person or your partner feel, okay? How do they feel about you? How do they want to see it moving forward, okay? And what action they plan on taking. So Pisces, stick around. This is a general love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, general love reading. So it will not resonate for every Pisces out there. Do check your moon, rising, and Venus sign or the other videos on my channel. If they hit home, like, share, comment, subscribe. If it hits home, in fact, if it resonates, let me know. Write me a comment and say, this is my story. Let me know how it resonates. Own it, claim it, and if you don't like it, change it. If you decide to subscribe, be sure to hit that notification button. I appreciate all your love and support. Also, guys, I'm doing private love reading. So if you're interested, let me know. Send me an email. I have a quick turnaround, okay? Let me know how I can help you. Okay, so I'm using the new Palladini tarot here for the main spread. And I have the miniature right away, okay? Information about these tarot decks is in the description box if you're interested in purchasing them. I think I've shuffled enough. Let's get right into it. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You and your person. And this is for July 2020. That's right. We are in July. Okay. So what happened in the recent past? We have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. If you're dealing with someone you were maybe previously married to, there's some kind of ending of a commitment, okay, a marriage. But you may not feeling so abundant right now, okay? You guys, maybe you've gone separate ways, you know, maybe there's some kind of financial um, codependent relationship you have with this person. But right now, you guys aren't able to grow, okay? There's a lack of putting in effort, growing something here with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Maybe someone doesn't see your value or your worth, okay? So what's the current energy right now? The hermit in reverse, okay? Can we deal with the Virgo? I feel like right now you guys are maybe not speaking, not communicating, okay? Someone had to go within introspection, try to find answers here. You know, they had the little lantern. So about finding, you know, answers about this connection, how to move forward, okay? But it looks like someone maybe recently got some kind of enlightenment. We'll find out what that's about. How, um, what's on your person's mind right now? Whoever you're thinking of. The Ace of Cups in reverse, okay? Unrequited love. Maybe they feel like you've turned your back on them. There's a lack of loving, giving, sharing, nurturing this connection right now, okay? So how do they view you? Yeah, the star in reverse, like you're not healed from a situation. If they disappointed you, if there's some kind of heartbreak or some kind of ending, they feel like you're still working on your healing, okay? And that you're not optimistic. You're not hopeful that this can come together, okay? You've lost faith in this. You're dealing with an Aquarius. What's in your feels and emotions for you? The death in reverse, okay? There's an ending, clearly, right? Scorpio energy. The death also talks about transformation. So maybe this person wants to change or bring some kind of transformation to this connection. They're not happy where things are standing, okay? You know, they don't they don't feel like there's love right now. They feel a lack of love from you. They could be unrequited, okay? We'll find out. So um, how do they see moving forward with you? Wow, look at that, the last judgment. And I was, you know what? When that death in reverse came out, I was like, uh-oh, reconciliation, right? And the last judgment. So they want to make another decision about this connection. They're not happy about the situation. They don't feel like you love them. You've taken back your feelings and emotions. You're not giving them your cup. You don't want this beginning. You've lost faith in here with the star, okay? And the problem is, is that they want to rebirth. They want a revival. They want to give this another look, okay? They want to revisit this situation, a death and reverse. Something ended and now they want to come on right back, right? <laughs> Okay, Pisces, so what is, um, how do they, what action are they going to take? This is how they see moving forward, right? But what is the actual action you pl this person plans on taking? The Four of Cups, okay? Yeah, so they feel like at a loss. They feel like this is a missed opportunity. So your person's doing a lot of thinking behind the scenes. They're feeling like, oh, wow, I really ruined this, this um, situation here. You know, I sabotaged this with Pisces. I really did bad. I rejected their offer. There's some kind of breakup here with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? It's something here that was very stable, that had a lot of potential for growth, right? And this person feels like, wow, I just, I'm not happy. Like, maybe they're complacent and not happy about the current situation, whoever they're dating, okay? It also could be just like, 
you know, bored with love, their, their current love offers, right? And they feel like, you know, you've turned your head now, now they have no options, okay? Right. So what's the advice from spirit? The king of pentacles. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Maybe building, okay, collaborating, coming together, offering your, um, offering the cup so you can have a commitment here. We'll find out. But it also could be about really establishing your own stability, okay? Working on, you know, solidifying what it is you want, being abundant, focusing on your career, your finances here, okay? But guys, we have the queen and the king of pentacles, right? It's not your energy, but it's the energy of you guys. You guys both really want the same thing, but maybe someone is just not entirely open to it right now, okay? Um, you guys very much value commitment, value um, tradition, um, wanting a home, wanting family, wanting children, right? Okay, but also, this is a divine partnership, okay? We have the king and queen of the same suit, okay? So what's the final outcome? The knight of pentacles. So someone's not taking action towards getting this commitment or bringing stability to the situation, okay? I feel like someone is just not moving at all. Things are stagnant right now. Certainly with that Herman reverse, someone's kind of going within, maybe block the other person, not speaking after some kind of really... um fast ending or abrupt ending with that death card right but you're feeling your person's feeling at a loss okay they have emotions and feelings still for you but they feel that maybe you've turned your back toward them right the bottom of the deck yeah more stagnant energy you guys can be at a distant apart there may be some kind of communication that was trying to come through online and maybe you blocked it from this person maybe you just don't want to you know deal with them at all so yeah that's what we're working with pisces so let's get right into your reading let's get to clarifying what this is all about so that eight of rods, the overall theme right now, there's a lot of stagnant energy. Things aren't moving forward. You know, the eight of rods typically is about action, forward movement, something fast paced. But in the reverse, it's like not moving at all, right? You're blocking this person out. There's going to be a lot of travel between you guys, emotional and physical distance as well. We're dealing with the Leo Sag Aries energy with this eight of rods. What's this about? What's this eight of rods? What is the deal? Pisces and their person. Yep, the strength in reverse. Someone's giving up on this connection, no longer is confident, okay? Um, has, you know, feel doesn't have willpower anymore to keep giving to this situation. That's why things are stagnant right now. You could be dealing with the Leo, but someone has given up, okay? Someone is no longer just fighting for this, okay? What's the strength about? Yep, the eight of swords in reverse. So letting go, okay? You're dealing with someone, You this could be your energy as well, Pisces. You're letting go because this person kept you feeling trapped, feeling stuck, and you're just letting it all go, okay? And you're moving forward with your life. There's just been too much stagnant energy here, and you feel like this person has just really made you, um, there's too much mental conflict and entrapment, and so you're, you're, you're releasing yourself from it, okay? Releasing yourself from this person, right? With the eight of pentacles, this is about, you know, breaking up a commitment, okay? There's some kind of ending here or something that had a lot of potential, a lot of growth, stability tied to it. Ooh, and the world in reverse, okay? So definitely could be a past person you were dealing with, okay? The world in reverse could be another cycle here. And we also have the four of swords in reverse, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Again, a lot of, you know, going quiet on each other, blocked energy, not communicating. But it's also the energy, <clears throat> four of swords of resting, recovering, regrouping, okay? Really kind of going within, in solitude so it's right now it's like i think you guys took a break from each other again this is a cycle that may have been repeating over and over you've been you know dealing with this person it's just you know you're in the same boat maybe you guys had several breakups okay but it looks like right now you guys are just focusing on yourself right now you guys are both resting not speaking have nothing to say whatsoever with each other you guys are just quiet okay a lot of distance apart so also with the hermit, again, it's about going within, right? Finding the answers, finding enlightenment, okay? It's definitely a spiritual card. Keep dealing with the Virgo. What's this about? Wow, look at that. The wheel in the world. Wow. I mean, this is like the universe. It's just like, it's very much, this is all being divinely orchestrated. I mean, the wheel, there's something here that I think you have, you want to release, okay? The current energy with the wheel, I think you just want to move forward with your life. You're letting go. You don't really feel like you want to fight for this. This slide of stuck energy. And you may have just, again, with the star in reverse, this person views you as just not being optimistic anymore, okay? Looking at the, the glass is half empty, okay? You're just not excited. You're not trying to heal the situation right in the ten of swords definitely ending betrayal devastation i think you've giving up on this person for a right reason right because you feel these ten of swords in your back okay it's feeling like this is just 
this is done finito okay um Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, but I think that you guys are deciding to just move forward with your life with that wheel, okay, and not revisit this past cycle because you've been through it so many times, okay, and they've, they've brought you a lack of stability, they may have brought you um, financial instability as well, okay, just, you know, you, there's just something that's not secure with this person and you want to put it to rest and let go and get rid of this mental conflict that this person's um, bringing toward you. So... On your mind, the persons um, that you're dealing with, on your mind is the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this is like unrequited love. They feel that you don't want a beginning here. And it's because of the Three of Swords, okay? We also have, wow, the lovers in reverse, okay? Gemini energy. Um, Also, we have Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So someone is definitely heartbroken. There's something here, you know, someone may have... um. Who knows? Stepped out of a relationship. It could be through your swords. It could be a third party. It could be another person. It could be someone focusing on their career, not the other person. But there is a divine partnership. There's love, right? There's so many energy. But the two of cups in reverse, this is just someone is closed off. Someone is not open to connection, to sharing their cup, to not to having this beginning of love, okay? And I think it's you, Pisces, right? I feel here, you know, you may be heartbroken or there's some kind of disappointment that you experience with this person, okay? And you had to sever ties. You had to cut the cord and let this go for your own emotional, you know, happiness and, and being, okay? I, and your your wellness. I feel like you just had to let this go. And unfortunately, two of cups and reverse on their mind, they see you not wanting to work on this union and this partnership, okay? Not wanting to have this renewal of love with the ace of cups in reverse. So the star in reverse, you, you know, your person views you as maybe you still need healing. You need time, right? You need time to be able to manifest with them, right? So they may think that you want to come back and manifest, but right now isn't a good time, okay? Um... And maybe that's what they're doing. They're trying to be they're patient. They're trying to wait here. But they also feel here with the seven of wands that you're blocking them out, okay? So right now, they may feel like, you know, you're heartbroken. You're disappointed in them. You don't like what they did. And you need you just need more time to heal, to come around and manifest and create this new beginning. But in the meantime, you're blocking them out. You're a little mean. You're like you know, territorial, you're very defensive toward them, and you're not really showing that you want to have this beginning. But I get the sense this person is really trying, is really waiting, okay? But um, yeah, the magician, it could be Gemini energy, Leo Sag, Aries with that seven of rods. I think it's really because you're hurt, okay? And this person sees that, okay, you know, I get it. They're gonna like, you know, block me out, treat me like I'm crap. You know, I, I deserve it, right? That's what your person's like thinking. So what's this death? Death in reverse, this is um in their feelings and emotions, right? They want a beginning, right? If something came to an end, look at that, nine of rods, <laughs> nine of wands, okay? So Leo, Sag, Aries energy, this person wants to fight. They're wounded, they're tired, they're bad, bruised. This is a wounded warrior card, right? But they're persevering. They still want to put in work, okay? They still want to fight for this, even if you're like pushing them away. Like, get out of here, I don't want you, right? But look... The Empress, they view you as the Empress. They still feel there's something here worth nurturing. They want to create. They want to manifest you, okay? And they think it's only the matter of time. Maybe they think there's some kind of healing and change that needs to come. With the death in reverse, it's definitely about change and transformation. Maybe they feel that after you guys have gone and four swords and this hermit energy, you know, there's been some kind of enlightenment. There's been some kind of... Um, you know, I, I guess new approach and idea of how you guys can create something here. But the Empress that, you know, definitely could have children with this person. If not, they view you as being just so, you know, they, you're beautiful, you're a manifester, you're so um, gorgeous, you know, you just, you make things happen. They're attracted to you. There's a lot of magnetic energy there and they, they want to nurture and grow, okay? So how do they see moving forward is that judgment. They want to make another final judgment call about this, okay? Um, they want to make another decision. If they, you know, if you guys decided to go separate ways to break up, they want to, you know, revisit that situation. What's this judgment about? Look at that. Eight of Pentacles, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and if they want to put in some time, energy, and work into this, growing, building something back up from the ground up, okay? And they're wanting, they're wanting another chance, okay? This is about um reconciliation and renewal about you know making doing changing this connection okay revisiting something here a past cycle or a past decision and oh my gosh you won't believe it the ace of cups is coming out guys this person still has love for you 
they have a lot of love, feelings, and emotions. And right now, they're tempering themselves. Maybe they're feeling trapped with the Eight of Swords, okay? Because right now, there's stagnant, stuck energy between you guys. You don't want to communicate with them. You're blocking them out, right? You're not optimistic. You need healing. There's something here. You just don't want to repeat this cycle with this person. It's a done deal. Ten of Swords, Benito, right? And, well, you know, right now, they can't take action just yet. They're feeling at a loss. They're just sitting by the tree. They're bored with the current people that they're talking to and dealing with, okay? They're not interested in, in these other people. They're waiting for you. The Four of Cups, they're feeling at a loss. Some kind of missed opportunity here with you. What's this Four of Cups about? For Pisces partner. Look at that. The Page of, page of Wands in reverse. So, yeah, there's a lot of, um. they're just, they're not happy. They're discontent, right? They want to come in and... You know, it reignites something here, but the page of wands, it's like, typically this is like my bad news card, right? So they're just not happy that things can't move forward. It, it, they're just really wallowing in like sorrow and sadness, okay? What's this, what's this page of wands about? Yeah, because you guys can't build and collaborate and possibly because of a third party, they let get in the way of this. Maybe because you found out some kind of bad news about a third party, three of pentacles in reverse, that caused you to break away and not wanting to commit or not wanting to commit to them anymore. Okay, so cause some kind of ending here and they're feeling at a loss. They're feeling bad and now they miss an opportunity here with you. Right. And so let's go to the outcome we have the knight of pentacles in reverse so you not wanting to move forward to them in fact you're not moving at all right with that eight of rods in reverse is the overall theme and then the king of pentacles in reverse as the outcome there's no movement towards this person whatsoever the king of pentacles he's the slowest knight of the deck but in the reverse he doesn't move he doesn't budge right and it's because you guys want your stability back you you're thinking about your long-term future you know with your pentacle you want you want happiness you want stability and security and you don't think this person can bring it What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Yep, what's this about? Look at that King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So you don't see commitment with this person. So now we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So I think in the end, I think this person may have to eventually give up because I don't think you're moving toward them, okay? There's a lack of coming together, lack of commitment here. You guys will not be able to work together or, you know, be able to build because I just don't think you guys want it. And I think this person will kind of linger around for a little bit, trying to see, well, you know, will this person, will Pisces come around? Will we be able to nurture and, and have this beginning of love? You know, they want to put in work. They want to have a, a reconciliation, make another judgment call. And they're going to wait for you. And But this also could be their energy, not feeling, you know, um, very confident that you're going to, you know, make a move towards them or feeling like they're just left out in the cold. There's some kind of financial hardship here or they're just feeling like a lack of abundance from you okay a lack of abundance in life because you're not with them okay or lack of attention from you with the king of pentacles in reverse tell me more about this king of pentacles you guys could be definitely dealing with the earth sign if not i feel like this was just a commitment you guys may have had that you're moving away from right and you're just like i'm not giving this another shot I'm, it's a done deal what's this king of pentacles yep page of cups in reverse okay so you may feel like this person needs to apologize but even if they do i feel like you guys are just closed off okay page of cups in reverse you're not showing any feelings and emotions you're not trying to make any romantic gestures towards this person the sun in reverse is a lack of happiness there okay you may felt this person kept you in the dark but you just don't see yourself being happy with them you can be dealing with the leo as well okay so the king of pentacles is about focusing maybe on yourself focusing on your career your money your children Oh, god damn. We got the hair font in reverse and the ten of pentacles in reverse. For a lot of you guys, I think you're just breaking away. I don't think you want this commitment anymore, okay? And with the six of cups with this past person. I just don't think that you, you're trying to work on this. I think with the king of pentacles, a lot of you guys are just focusing on, you know, manifesting. Focusing on bringing stability back to your life, okay? Building, you know, your business, whatever it may be. But in terms of reconciliation, that's not on your mind right now with this person, okay? This is moving away from a commitment it could be dealing with an Taurus here or just you know not having that that stability with this past person six of cups like you had before okay so that's what I have for you um Pisces let me know if this resonates like share comment and subscribe and come back for another reading next week take care many blessings